What's up guys? So what you're looking at here is a Mag 44 F1. This one here is a Devil 6 Auto. And over the back there, that's another Devil 6 Auto. This here, this is another Mag 44 F1. The Mag 44s uh, courtesy of Northern Grows uh, and Twin Flames. Uh, genetics found on Instagram. All right, so yesterday when I opened the tent, these ladies from the tip of every leaf to the bud, not just the mags, but both Devil Sixes over there as well, were white. And I thought for a second that maybe it was some serious sugar, uh, and it was in increasing a lot every day I thought it was a little too much but no white powder mildew all from well um, if you guys have been following anything uh, on Instagram or YouTube you know I had a bit of an issue with a Vivo Sun inline fan and that fan down for a week uh, caused a, a big powder mildew issue in my tent that well we let go we didn't catch uh, there was a couple of spots on a couple of leaves, but we weren't too worried. Anyhow, on with the show. Yesterday, when I opened this, white and freaked out, jumped on YouTube, jumped on Google, and I found a recipe for a milk spray. So I used regular 2% milk that I buy at my grocery store and water. Now, the recipe I used was one cup of milk to nine cups of water and I put it in a regular pump sprayer just like this well this one actually uh, I got this for like I don't know 10 bucks or something at my local Canadian tire it's a five liter pump sprayer no nothing fancy anyway put the mixture in there and sprayed I actually watched the mildew come off as it uh, went through um, and then after I did the milk spray, I let it sit 20 minutes. I sprayed it with water all the way down and uh, let that dry off under the fans. And then I hit it with a milk uh, solution again. And then I let it sit until now. So what you're seeing here is, yep, there's some white powder mildew left. But compared to what was there, like, guys... These things were so white and crunchy from uh, mildew that I can't, I can't even describe how bad they were. Um, it was the worst case I've ever seen and so, so rapidly it's onset. These Devil Sixes, not sure why, but they seem to scrub up real nice. Real, real nice. Uh, the mags, however, got a little residual. Uh, I think maybe that's because the mags actually have a lot more uh, leaf structure than the uh, Devil 6. Um, however, that being said, tonight, milk solution once again. Firstly, I'm going to wash off the milk solution that's there with the milk solution that I'm going to spray on. Let it sit 20 minutes and uh, maybe 30 minutes while I water all my other tents and stuff. Uh, maybe an hour. Then I'm going to wash it off with straight uh, pH adjusted water. And we'll see where we're at in uh, another 24 hours from now. Uh, but at this point, no damage. Uh, everything still looks good. Uh, sticky to touch. So... Well, wish me luck, guys. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Never done this before. Never tried it. Had to do something. Let me know what you think. Happy growing. All right, we've got our milk solution in our pump sprayer. Alright, couple of pumps. Over to the place we go. 
already hit him with a bit of water just to see if it'd make a difference. But hey, fuck it, let's go all in. So here we go. I'm gonna get a little done, pause the video, get the rest of them done. You can see that the milk's coming out. Kinda looks gross. Doesn't smell as bad as I thought. All right, I'm gonna pause the video here and we'll come back at you when I've got them all done because, well, one-handed sucks. All right, so we're back at you. Uh, we've done the milk spray. You see every nugget has milk solution dripping off it. Even decided to do the rest of the tent because, well, fuck, if it works, why not? And this side of the tent, uh, everything beyond the autos, the four autos that I'm really concentrating on with the milk spray, uh, they're only seven days in. Uh, the two at the back are nine days in, but the others are all only seven days in. So I can't imagine anything detrimental since I've got at least another 60 days to go or so. Uh, but one thing I will tell you about this milk spray, guys, it makes one hell of a fucking mess. There is milk building up everywhere uh, just like water would if you just went hell for leather spray in it but uh, you yeah, don't mind my shitty and ghetto stands I've got a milk crate and a, a, a spindle of wire and a bloody Lowe's upside down bucket but hey got to do what you got to do in times of need anyhow yeah it makes a hell of a mess uh, but just from my experiment last night it works like what I showed you guys earlier uh, was a thousand percent compared to uh, the night before so um, I'm gonna try and go through some of my photos and see if I can grab a, a snapshot of how bad they actually were but I kind of avoided uh, taking too many photos of them because well it's kind of embarrassing you know anyway this is a viable solution absolutely especially in buds it's organic um, if anything else, I would imagine, uh, because it adds calcium to the human diet, it would somewhat add, in a very diluted, maybe odd way, could add calcium, maybe, to a plant, maybe. I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. Happy milk spraying. <laughs> What's going on guys? Well, this is the update on that milk spray. So, I did the milk spray, uh, let it sit last night for approximately uh, an hour, I guess, half an hour. Yeah, probably closer to an hour. And then I did the uh, wash off with plain water deal. Um, again, made a fucking mess in the tent everywhere, but that's all right. Uh, and anyhow, the end result, well, I don't know if end result, I don't know if this is a treatment I'm supposed to continue, but it seems that these four budding plants here are a week or so out from being chopped. Uh, I'm not going to do it anymore. So, results are, sorry. leaves still have some spots here, there and everywhere, uh, pretty much every leaf. Um, Buds, however, are clean, beautiful colors, pop it. Uh, we got out the, um, the microscope, actually, uh, last night, and checked the trichomes, and, um, yeah, absolutely clean, clear, and kind of looked like rejuvenated, I guess, would be a way uh, to describe them. Uh, I'll see if I can add some photos to the video, uh, but yeah, they look really good. Um, couldn't be happier with the uh, results, guys. Uh, I have seen online 
a couple of videos and a couple of other um, mixtures uh, with a stronger combination of milk and water. Um, if these plants were younger, perhaps I'd try that. Um, but yeah, no need for right now. I also sprayed the other plants. You can see some residual milk leftovers on there. But uh, yeah, no harm, no foul. They all look good. Cheers, guys. Happy growing.